Hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan, and oh my lord, it's December and it's getting cold. Unless you live in the southern hemisphere, in which case, congratulations for being upside down. You'll have noticed that it's winter, and I, for one, am absolutely freezing in my house. So, to celebrate that, today, we are playing Masters of the Cold. It's Canada, but today we're not going to be playing Canada as you might have seen them before. No, 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 we're going to be playing Canada as they were meant to be, as they truly, truly are. The setup for this game is a little bit bit more complex than usual. I will take you through how to replicate it on your own computer, but this is a good example of a game that if you want to play along with, you should come along to Discord because the save file for this game, as well as all the mods you need, well, they're already there, so you can come and use them. And there's a lovely community of almost 14,000 people who can answer questions about mods and Civ and me. I mean, they'll be guessing about questions about me, but you never know, you might ask them anyway. Today, we are playing 12 players, but on an eight player map. So it's gonna be a little bit more squished than usual. We are playing Inland see. It's cold, it's abundant resources. So yes, yes, I know, it's a very cold game and that suits us. But I forced Russia into the game. So Russia are going to be in this game somewhere. We're not going to be getting this one totally to ourselves. Standard speed, Deity++, plus plus, Roman Holiday, all enabled. So again, a very difficult game. But today, I'm going to add some mods in, as well as some game modes. Barb Clans, Heroes and Legends, Secret Societies. We haven't played with these on so far with this combination of mods and I really want to see what happens as well as the wonderful bears governor overhaul. Does this make the game a little easier? Potentially. Does the AI know how to use it properly? Probably not. But after a couple of games that have been absolutely brutal, I wanted to test Deity++ and Roman Holiday a little bit. Let's see how they play with all of these wonderful mods. This is a game channel favorite. A total replacement of all of the governors in Civ 6 to replicate more of a Civ 5 style of pick something and then go with it. Got some crazy options that we haven't really considered before. And as you consider the fact that we are now wedged in this beautiful bottom left hand corner of the map. What are we going to be doing today? Oh Canada, oh Canada. A peaceful sieve, a cultural sieve, a diplomatic sieve. I've heard all of these things before but Wilfred, Wilfred knows best. Wilfred knows the Canadian bunch, they're a bunch of, well should I say, ice hockey playing lunatics. I've seen you all, I've seen videos of referees having to send off entire squadrons of Canadians playing hockey because you're too aggressive. The country is full of barbarianist warlords and today we'll be activating all four faces of peace. One face of peace and three paces, three paces, three paces of angry, angry peace that will be enforced upon you. I'm going to be using all of Canada's culture, tourism and diplomatic bonuses to be achieving a culture victory at all costs. This is going to be a hyper expansionist, hyper aggressive Canada. We are going to forcibly mounty everywhere, whether or not the world wants us to or not. So ladies and gentlemen, get yourself comfortable. Ask yourself this simple question. Do you want to build a snowman? out of the remains of our political opponents. Yes, today we're playing at Canadian style. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get cracking. Hey, you! Yes, you! Stop that! Whatever you're doing, listen to Ursa. I have exciting news! This year, I'm honoured to be a team captain on the 2023 Civ Give. Join Team Ursa on the 15th and 16th of December as we take on fantastic minigames, setting me up for a huge live multiplayer game on Sunday the 17th of December, all to raise money for a fantastic charity, Gamers Outreach. Follow the link on this video to my Tiltify page where you can donate in exchange for fantastic gifts, including a personalised, badly drawn picture straight from me to you. It's not in the Louvre, it's in your house. Merry Christmas, wish me luck, and back to the video. Turn one, it's cold and there are no resources, which is a bit of a problem for most people, but not for Canada. Now we're gonna take a little bit of a slower start than usual. The last best West gives us huge amounts of production and food from all sorts of things to do with farms and camps and lumber mills and mines. But we can't do any of those without tech, uh, apart from farms, and we can't do those without builders. So the beginning of the game is a little bit slow. It also looks like we have a great bear lake, which is very, very wonderfully Ursa and on brand, I love it, but no resources whatsoever. Could this be any more Canadian? N nobody's sure. Barbs are going to be everywhere, the AI is going to be everywhere. What we can do to start with is basically just plonk a capital down, and to be honest, yes I know I'm on a hill here, but given the fact that we have no resources, I don't think there's anywhere better for us to settle, so we might as well just settle here. We've got access to some flatland for some farms, some mines, some lumber mills, we we've got options. And today we will be going for a religion, the AI does tend to beeline religions pretty 
hard, but I want my own religion. I want to have a heavy faith run for a few reasons. Later into the game, we're going to be going heavily national park, which I don't need faith for because we're going to have mounties, but I will need faith for Grandmaster's Chapel and to spit out an obscene amount of troops. I've also loaded up the Spare Beliefs mod. This will help to put basically endless copies of every pantheon and religious belief into this game. I wanted to play it a certain way. Yes, I will be going for Tundra Holy Sites. Yes, I have rigged it slightly. I am sorry. I wanted to have fun and I'm not really that apologetic about it at all. What do I do first? Do I go for tribal villages and hope that builders are in them or do I just build a builder straight up to get some farms down? Normally I would go straight for scout. I think I will get one at the very least and then go builder because we do have governors to think about today. As I open up any of these governors, I will get an initial bonus. So for instance, if I pick the general, I get two melee class units. If I go for defender, my capital gets ancient walls. So there are options to think about. If I pick the architect, for instance, I will get a three builder in my capital upon recruitment. So that'll be a really good way of going. However, surveyor would also give me two recon units, which would be really cool. I haven't really gone surveyor before. And today, this is quite a good one because recon, 15% culture reduction on, a claim, on claiming tiles. God, my words today are absolutely ridiculous. Well, that'll be a good discount because Canada already takes a 50% reduction in claiming tiles that are tundra or snow. So we'll have huge, massive Canadian borders before you know it. And plus one appeal to all tiles in my empire? Well, we'll be able to mounty everywhere. Already our appeal is pretty good, but maybe it'll get even better. Who knows? Other good options are Pioneer for two population in the capital. We've played with that one before. Cardinal gives you immediately 60 faith, so that's a three pantheon. Spymaster immediately gives you a spy. And Ambassador gives you two envoys. That one's really handy. Yeah, there's, there's lots of options. We'll let the game play out. And because we've got secret societies enabled today, we will get an early governor if we find a natural wonder or some tribal villages. Who knows what we're going to find? Sometimes it's best not to plan too hard and just let the game give you what it gives you. Including, for instance, today, Owls has already been found. There is a large part of me that wants to go Canadian vampires. I want I want an, an army of hockey playing vampire Canadians. Why? It, just thematically, it's not the best. I know it's not the best option. Quite clearly, if we're going to be going for crazy holy sites, we should be going Void Singers. But this game is not about optimizing. This game is about building Canadian vampires. Yeah, I've already sold it to myself. <laughs> We're just going to do this. Shall I go surveyor first and just get two recon units immediately out and go and explore the map? Or shall I get the architect? The good thing about going architect is that with a second governor, I can give plus one builder charge to all of my builders. Now, builders are really, really essential to Canada. Really quite essential. Or do I just go for ambassador? This is the Armani star. This will give me two envoys immediately, which will give me Caguana, which these Bate improvements, they're not particularly good, to be honest. But it would give me visibility and it would give me era score. Oh, there are so many competing aspects. I could go for anything. I could even go Cardinal and just get the Pantheon immediately, but there's no real rush on that one. I'll tell you what I could do, which is a little bit different than usual. I could go for the General. Now, normally I wait on General until I've unlocked some really good units because two, three melee class units are fantastic when they're line infantry. When they're warriors, not so good. But two warriors would be a lot better for scouts than two scouts because the scouts are probably going to get killed very quickly because of the, oh, the way the map is. And the Surveyor Tree, I mean, I could go map making for plus one movement and sight on recon units and hidden in plain sight is pretty fun as well. Okay, Surveyor leans too hard into Canada. We're going to have to do it. There we go. We'll put Surveyor into Ottawa and here are our two scouts. So we're actually building another scout. This will be the elusive and wonderful triple scout to start. We'll just go for it. I've got to find tribal villages now. If I don't find a hundred tribal villages, this may be in vain. Okay, right. So already what I'm going to do is bring my warrior back because the barbarians have found us. That's not good. Don't worry. We'll We'll, we'll hit some hit some barbs together with our hockey sticks. It'll be fine. Jerusalem, Hermetic Order. Nobody's found them, which means I'm getting a faith per turn. Excellent. We can get that Pantheon unlocked as fast as possible. It's a tribal village. Go, go, Gadget Builder. Sanguine Pact. Okay, we've unlocked that, which is good. What do we get? We got another scout. <laughs> Okay, it's not the triple scout start. I lied to you. I'm so sorry. It's the quadruple scout start. Oh my lord. I know. Contain your excitement. Is it possible? No one is sure. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad we went for the surveyor. The fun thing about the surveyor is now that it's established in my city, unimproved feature tiles gain two gold. So this is the old Rainer ability. And look at these tiles. Suddenly they're one, two, three tiles. That, that, that's really good. I will be improving them eventually. So it's not going to be a very good policy in the long run, but just 
just at the beginning of the game, that little bit of trickling gold could be very handy. Let's now get a builder. I've got my warrior. We're, we're lurking around my capital. I have no idea where that barbarian went. I am a little bit fearful of where that barbarian went, but we're not thinking about it. Like any good problem, I am burying my head on ostriching until it goes away. Nan Madol. There is a huge inland lake in this map. If anybody grabs that and the lake, they could get a lot of culture. Oh my god, three city-states thirst meets. That's a ton of culture. I like that. Let's see if that works out for me in the long run. Do you know what I am hoping? I am hoping to find at least one natural wonder. Whether we'll find that or not, I don't know. Rome begins near me. Honor to meet you. Let's exchange capitals. They're just to my north. I seem to remember playing a game where we were very similar in start and France declared on us in this area. Were we playing Russia? I think we might have been playing Russia. I have eerie and worrying memories of a game like that. So, I mean, this time at least I'll have a single warrior back. <laughs> That counts as a defensive force, right? I'm not sending a delegation, by the way. Oh, no, Rome is sending one to me. I mean, they were minus 16, so I, I just didn't bother. No, they're not going to be my friends, but I'll take the delegation. Do I send one back? I'll send it back. Oh, and you know what? I will conquer you with kindness. Oh, there's the barb camp. I could buy a spearman if I had a ton more gold, but it looks like Caguana is going to destroy it before it becomes a problem. Although it will mean, unfortunately, that the barb scout that's been running around will go aggressive now because the encampment will be the destroyed so I've got to watch out for them. If ever I was going to go for survey instead of discipline, the quadruple scout start, the elusive, the magical. It's got to be the time for it hasn't it? So we'll go for that and then god king to get my pantheon even quicker. Quite a solid mountain range here. Oh yeah, can we even get through this? I want to find the edge of the map just so that when I do start scouting, if I do make it to the other side, I can be the first to circumnavigate this flat map. That's how it works, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Hey, Rome is my friend. I'm going to play a aggressively today, but I would prefer not being rushed with Legion, especially because Antium is just going towards me. They're going for the Great Slave Lake. Oh no, this is not a Rome I want to be on the other side of, I, I don't think. Okay, it's good. We, we won't forgive them for settling close to me, and this is a wonderful city for me to take over. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I won't forgive, ever. Oh, oh, I think I found a wonder literally on the right turn. Oh, that could be accidentally brilliant. Go on, be a wonder. Be a wonder. Giants cause well. And we found Himiko. That is a wonderful first hero. Oh, we're going straight into Monument and I want to get Himiko because then I can capture Kaguana, Jerusalem, Nan Madol. Plus we can get loads and loads of faith. Mittler, not a first meet on Mittler, but that is fine. I've had this with Inland Sea maps before, but there doesn't really ever seem to be a huge amount of tribal villages on this map. Am I just imagining that or is that real? Anyway, Giant's Causeway is absolutely what we want to go and settle at some point, not just for the era score but plus five combat strength on all units that's going to stack really nicely with the beautiful general that gives us plus three on everybody for the rest of the game that and spies and religion we should be able to come up with something rather fun okay you know i said about a monument being my priority do i want to do that first or do i want to go for holy site oh that's a decision we're gonna go mining quickly so i can get some production how many turns would it be 12 turns 12 turns is a lot if i have the faith from himika i might be able to rush the profit a little bit but the holy site would give me huge crazy production once I get the religion. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to just not think about it for a few turns and hope that it makes sense in a bit. Oh, there's yellow goat. All right. I found the scout for yellow goat all the way over here. That's worrying. Coupe. This is a pretty landlocked map, which makes Coupe a weird choice. However, they do have the wonderful ability to start their capital with a lot of population and some builders. So they do get quite a fast start on maps like this. We'll see whether that makes them a force or not. Okay, we found the edge of the map. That's that's cool. We know that we've got that forever and ever and ever. Mount Roramia, Anansi. Oh, wow. There's loads of stuff going on around here. We've got two leveled up scouts. Maybe, maybe I can get a triple promoted scout at some point. Kamasi. <gasps> Kamasi's a big priority. Trade routes to city-states. Oh, those would be very handy. And it looks like these barbs are going to be slightly aggressive towards me. Let's get this tribal village. Lovely. It's a bit of era score. And then we'll see if we can go and fortify on top of the hill or something. So I'm going to try and skip through Coupe's land before they close the borders to me, which they inevitably are going to do in like two seconds. Okay, they are attacking me, but that's fine. I'm now on a hill. And as we all know, if you're on a hill, you're invincible. Those are just the rules, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> just the rules. My first farm, and this is where Canada really kicks into gear. You can build farms on Tundra, unlike anyone else, and a farm gains two extra food. So I get one food from the farm and two from my ability, turning this one food tile into a four food tile. But of course, it's not going to get worked. Come on, work it, grow the city. I'm gonna take a gamble on buying the monument. So we're going to build a holy site. To save some gold, I'm actually going to put my holy site on top of this hill because it's got two woods. So with a pantheon, that would be a plus seven. Gandhi could be a bit of a religious problem, but I would love to sample your hospitality. Ah, yes, you're right next to Rome. Hopefully Rome is going to have more of a problem with Gandhi than they will with anything to do with old Ursa. Ursa's lovely. Ursa is peace and love and, and kindness. Speaking of peace and love, Eleanor of Aquitaine, the English version today. Hello. Yep. You can, you can say hello to my city. My city's lovely. Oh, my scout's getting killed. That's not good. I wanted that tribal village. Let me have a tribal village. What do I want to use this builder charge on? Do I make another farm? I think I will for the growth, you know, and especially because I can buy a tile for 25 gold. I mean, it's taken away from my monument, which isn't great, but that is serious growth in my capital now. Then we'll start working some better tiles. I am amazed we haven't found another continent yet. Why? Why? Oh, hang on, we have. Where is the other continent? Europe. Yeah, Kamas is technically on a different continent. Okay, well, we'll find that in a second then. I don't know why that hasn't given it to us. If it's on the map, surely we've we've discovered it. It's because the city state is showing it to us rather than our scouts actually finding it. So there's probably going to be a slight difference in what it'll allow us to do. But never mind. Bologna, where are you? There. Rome is already suzerain of that city state. That sort of checks out, really, doesn't it? Okay, the scout is surviving on top of this hill. That's good. We'll give you the Alpine promotion. Just fortify. Let this warrior have its fun, and then we'll we'll move on from there. And as discussed before, I know, I know, everyone always does it, but dance of the Aurora. And yes, I know. Look, this is the mod. Spare beliefs. I, I just wanted to play with this. Okay, let let me have some fun. So my last builder charge. I'm just holding put. I'm gonna build a mine on Ottawa because that would give one production and then another two. So it would become a one four tile. It's really good. It's a shame we didn't start with any deer or luxuries around because it's made my start a little bit more awkward. But don't worry about that. It's fine. We'll find the land somehow. Oh, there's foreign trade. We finally found another place. Okay, now we're gonna go for urban planning. Survey is still good, fun. Maui, excellent. Trying to get some gold. Why will nobody just, oh, can somebody give me some gold, please. Thank you. England has already declared war on Rome. What is going on up here? And how do I say that I approve of everything? <laughs> It's wonderful. Fez, lots of city-states on this map. So as Ottawa gets into its third population, we're going to start on working this tile now. So, okay, now we've got a little bit more production, which is wonderful. Somebody's getting a lot of profit points. I don't need to have the first religion in this game. I just need a religion, and I believe five of them are going to be in there. So we'll, we'll hold out for that. If I can get monumentality as well, that in itself would be awesome. Oh, I really, really want this, but I think the spearman's going to come and kill my scout immediately. So we'll just hold there for a sec. Builder says, this is mine. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of production now. Okay, Ottawa is finally getting off its feet. Now we have mining. I'm going to pick up animal husbandry. Now animals are very rare in the tundra. They tend to be mostly deer and sheep. Horses don't appear on them, but I could find some other good spots for horses and then go and claim them. Maybe. Stonehenge built on turn 23. Interesting. That's a quick one. That is very, very quick. Picked up an envoy in a tribal village. Oh, now get out of there, scout, please. Yep, the scout did get attacked, but I'm glad I waited one turn because I just about survived that attack. Survey, urban planning. I really want discipline because I mean, my scouts are not leveling quick. I, I just think survey is a very bad card. <laughs> so I'm going to put discipline in now and then run away with this scout until you're healed. Here's Hungary. I'm hungry for their land. You know what I really like the best about Hungary? His pecs, specifically the city. Look at them. Oh, it's wonderful. Mr. Scout says, here is a tribal village and there are the twins and a bit of gold. Oh, the gold was needed. I've been trying to save up for a monument for some time now, and that really, really helps. Military tradition from this one. The era score is picking up. Still got another 15 turns. I will get three from finishing this holy site, which is lovely, but I need more. More. Always more. Nalanda, awesome. The holy site means I'm now getting seven faith in per turn. Now, we know which religion I'm going to be going for, right? It's going to be work ethic, but to help me along with that, I'm just going to pick up the monument. Now, because I'm earning tundra tiles so fast, that monument will work really Really nicely and we're going to immediately pick up Himiko. Let's find some city-state allies. No shame in deterrence, says Gandhi. That always gives me slight worries when I hear that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't lie. Bronze working. Boosted. Yeah, sorry, yellow goats. If you were maybe brown elephants, you would have been able to resist me. But the ice hockey players have come in and your goats are no match for me and my clubs. These are more hockey sticks. These are rudimentary hockey sticks. One thing I am noticing is that there are pretty much no luxuries around me at all. Like, I let me show you the search. It's like the game knew the tundra should be a wasteland. India has grabbed all of these ones. Rome kind of took a very nice settling spot for me. Admittedly, that would have been quite close to Rome. And then there's no fresh water over here, so that could be a problem. Yeah, luxuries. We might have to go and get other people's, but I have a plan for that. Now, people say great generals as if they were warlords, but really, what you've got to remember is that generals all started playing hockey. So what we're going to do is focus on getting a lot of great generals. I don't think you understand how aggressive we're going to play today. <laughs> This is going to be quite something. Clan dispersed. There you go. Two era squads just out of range to get three annoyingly. Oh, why are you trying to fleece me for open borders? I want to come through. You were literally the only way through here. Oh, India. Who are you fighting? Rome. Rome, are you fighting both people at the same time? Oh, yeah. I'm just single-handedly destroying India. I love it. Go, Rome. Oh, I'm just going to use an envoy to pick up Kaguana. Two era squads. Sinbad. Sinbad would be a lot of fun. Wouldn't You wouldn't find very much, but, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Ah, alas, no luxuries in this city-state. But the era score is good. I would like monumentality. Yep, y you know I would like monumentality. And there we go. Golden Age. Himiko. Eight charges. Eight envoys. I think just becoming friends of everyone around me is a good idea, and I'm tempted to focus on Kamasi as a priority. So let's head over to Kamasi first. Long term, Himiko gives plus five combat strength to all tiles within, to all units within five tiles, and she actually, and people forget this, stacks with great generals. So you can get plus 10 if you have both. Ursa doesn't forget. Ursa never forgets. All right, let's unlock encampments now. Yep, uh, we're going hyper aggressive today. And let's turn my religion into production. I'm going to use this lovely 10 production we've already got and get some holy site prayers. Here's Russia. Russia are probably going to be the big competition. They too love hockey. Their Russian hockey teams are very, very capable. But don't worry, we'll find them and we will incorporate them into our hockey empire. This is what the culture victory is going to be all about, by the way. We're just trying to sell our version of hockey as being the best. Oh no, Russia's gone work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a quick look at this. What's this lava on? Seven production. Yeah, we are going to see a crazy rush of this game. Trust me. Oh, wow. Rome just raised India's city. You didn't even want to keep it. Oh, Trajan, you absolute rogue. Fountain of youth and the commands. Okay, right. There, there is so many faith players on this map. We, we're going to have a real problem monopolizing faith and culture. Wait, yeah. Culture victory is going to be very tough at the best of times with Deity++ Plus Plus and Roman Holiday. Day. We might have to play even better than usual. What was pillaging here? Oh, Russia are going to have so many lavas. How much faith per turn are they on already? 68. And this one's on fire. So, yeah, you just wait for Russia. Kamasi has joined Eleanor. No, no. No, 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 no. This one's mine. This one is mine. Gilgamesh. I'm pretty sure this still works with this setup. But let me just double check. It does. We're friends with Gilgamesh. He's all with Hungary. But don't worry about that. That's not our problem. We're ages away. Oh, is this a settlement? Birmingham. Yeah. Eleanor and Rome are going at it. I sense that only Eleanor or Rome, one of them will survive this and the other will not. We shall see. I'm tempted to go Sanguine Pack, but right now I can't really get anything from them. Shall I go straight into map making? I wouldn't normally do this, but plus one movement and sight on all of my four scouts, that would help me to really discover a lot of the map very quickly. Or imagine doing this with Portugal. It would be crazy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, perfect. We're discovering tons of the map now. Yeah, Eleanor has brought her ambassador away from Kamasi, which means we can now open it up and have a look. Oh yeah, look, her troops were definitely utilizing Kamasis, but that's fine. We're going to be peaceful now, aren't we? Now with Kamasi, what is this trade route like to Jerusalem? Four gold, two culture. That's a lot of culture. Do I just treat myself to a trader? I think I'm going monumentality next era, so maybe I don't need to rush that, but yeah, definitely worth keeping an eye on. There's Scotland. We knew they were in the corner of the map. Oh, it's the glorious city of Dundee. Pray no unicorn attacks it. I think I really want Kamasi to stay on on side. So I'm just going to earn 50 faith a couple of times. Yeah, maybe two more times, just popping envoys into a city state that already loves me. I could use my faith to grab the religion a little earlier. We'll see how it goes. Or I could just convert this into monumentality. Oh, four movement scouts. Yeah, I could get used to these. These are, these are quick. Do I just throw all of my envoys into Kamasi? <laughs> 
<laughs> it is tempting. I'm gonna go for one more, and then we're gonna go to Jerusalem. I like it's a lot of extra faith. We we don't mind that at all. My scout has actually made it into the tundra in the far north of the map. Go and survey it. This is like opposite Canada. Uh, the one thing we're not going to do is discover the fact that the world is round just yet. I'm gonna hold off, Woolen. I'm looking for useful city states. Like if I find a cad, oh, you better believe I'm going a cad breaking down walls with my bare hockey sticks. That would be something I would really get involved with. And Eleanor is definitely going crazy on the old settling. Noted, noted. Don't worry, Canada has its steely eyes on you. My single warrior stands ready. <laughs> Oh dear. Jerusalem is mine. And we've discovered Hercules. Hercules is always fun as a hero, but not this game. Not this game. Oh, 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 so close. So close. I think it makes sense to do one more project. So we'll do one more project and then I'll probably go straight into an encampment. I know it's a strange build, but but it, it's going to work. I promise you. I, I can't, actually, I can't promise you. I have no idea if it's going to work. It's going to be fun though. Portsmouth appears. Yes, that's right. You just keep saying settling all your cities up here. I'm sure that'll go well for you in the longer run. Oh, Rome's got the legions. <laughs> go on, Rome. Go on, Rome. I'm starved for knowledge and beauty. Have you seen Ottawa? Okay, no, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, I found a cad and it completed the... Oh, I thought I'd get away with that. There is a cad, though. Oh, a cad's in the game. Okay. Okay, I really didn't mean to circumnavigate the globe there. <laughs> 37 era score and 41 turns. I love it. It's funny to imagine, isn't it? That sometimes you struggle to leave a dark age and then you have games like this where you have to go, okay, sure. Oh, it's the great unifier. Honor to meet you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I don't think I've met everyone yet though. Oh, have you got really green cities? You do. Oh, spicy. Okay, I, I still have one city and I really should change that now. So let's now get rocking. Early empire is fine. Make dedication. World has entered the classical era. Actually, what's everybody else in? A normal age for England. Interesting. Very interesting. Monumentality time. Let's start to settle out. This holy site prayer will finish. Then the encampment. I'm gonna pop it here just so it's in the way of me in England. I don't trust. I do not trust. Now I've got another governor. Do I want to go hidden in plain sight? To be honest, it's not that exciting. Plus one movement when recon units start their turn in any passable feature. I mean, it's okay, but I could do better. Sanguine Pact, I could get vampires and get ready for an offensive. General would be good once I unlock mana arms, I think. So we're just going to wait on that one. And architect would give me a free builder. Ambassador would give me two envoys. We could just get an absolute ton and go straight for a CAD. You know what? That wouldn't be too bad an idea. Let's focus on getting what I need to get the combat. I will take one envoy, sorry, one general, then one sanguine pact and one spy master. I could start to spy immediately on like Bradford and then we could just say that we're going to go after Eleanor as the first target. I feel like I'm just a little bit before that point though. Maybe I go architect to get the three builder. That would help Ottawa to grow, which would be really handy because I do want a turbo city. If I can get an amazing capital, this is going to make my job a lot easier. One very very interesting observation is that Ottawa does have one source of iron within range. But look at all this down here. With the wine, there's two sources by Reindeer Lake. So that's where we're going to go. Pop a city centre down. I could settle on the snow instead, but I'd rather be a little closer to that iron in the longer run. Plus, this is all pretty useless. I mean, it's not useless. I can build a pretty good campus on that tile, but yeah, okay, this, this is not a bad second city. So to celebrate, here we go. Settler, off your pop to Reindeer Lake. Okay, I, I think I can't can't resist the era score. We are going to go for Ambassador and I'm going to send the Ambassador over to Akkad. This will be quite, com you know, like heavily competed with, but I just love the idea of our warriors being able to hit down walls. But when I expand into the north, I want this source of iron and I do want loyalty pressure. So weirdly, I'm going to put a zero food farmed out, zero housing farm city kind of up here. This will be really good for population, but I just want to put population pressure on Birmingham and Portsmouth. So weirdly, this is actually where I'm going to go to start with and then I've got another settler heading down south. Excellent. It's a great profit. Oh, it was the last one. Okay, right. So lots of people have gone work ethic and some choral music. Uh, uh, that was lucky. We, we finished that right when we needed to. There's green, yellow and pink taken. So maybe if we go for blue. Hmm. What 
almost represents ice hockey. That's right, we'll make a religion called ice cows. And they're not buffalo, they're different. They're ice cows, okay? Let's not, let's not get that one mixed up. Work ethic is seven production in my capital immediately. And then we think about what we need. No one around me has got a religion. <laughs> oh, well, you know what that could mean. You know what it could mean, crusade. I, I'm thinking crusade, spreading crusade over to England. Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> so Russia has a religion. Kemen's far to the north have one. And India does have one. India's religion could be considered to be a problem. Maybe we can go and remove their religion first. I don't know. I don't know how aggressive we're going to be on actual religion spreading. It's maybe just city spreading is our, is our main avenue of escape here. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Rapa Nui. It's a lovely place. It's a lovely place. But you know what it's not? Kabul. That's kind of the next one. Or Ngazagamu. These are the sort of city states we're looking for now. Speaking of, there's Ngazagamu. Oh, there's a lot of military city-states we can get on board with today and we've almost got our own government now that means i can make my starting envoys even better no one's buying diplo favor just yet I'm, I'm just holding out holding out for a diplo hero oh i forgot to renew my alliance with rome uh whoops maybe it's rome we'll go to war with uh no okay no we've got friendship with them <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't want to take on everyone at once. We, we, we can we can take on a lot of people. Maybe not at once. Now, what I'm going to do very quickly is just move all of my scouts around briefly. Because I'm going to move my surveyor over. I don't want them in my capital in the long run. And I'm missing out on plus one movement and plus one visibility. I don't move them first. Right, okay. So now I can settle my second city. God, we waited a while for that. It's got no loyalty. It's got no housing. But I am going to move the surveyor over now. Now, unfortunately, this means that the recon class getting one movement in sight, that will disappear temporarily. But it means I've also got full loyalty in this city, which means I've got time. I have time to try and grow it out, which I will do with this builder. Holy site, does it make a difference where I put it? As long as it's a plus six, no. And I'm going to be working that first. It's going to take a while to get through, but we'll, we'll get it done. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennest, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, thank you everyone for your support, see you all in the next video, goodbye!